roof. So I woke up to this pad, a little damp. So the wind was actually so bad at one point, it felt like somebody was shoulder barging the side of the top like that. Okay, this is winter in the afternoon and it's almost pitch black and I am knackered. I am out of shape. So I'm off to a bad start. It started raining and I've been sweating. Sweated in my jumper, my fleece, and this is absolutely soaking. And I've got to carry on putting this tarp up. And I've been changing things last minute. And it's never a good idea. I had a working system and I changed it. Now I don't like it. I did stop. I took off my jacket, my waterproof. I should have took a lot more layers off the tripod here the camera mount is broke it isn't a cook set I wanted to bring I wanted to bring something completely different but I like this because I've got um, tea which is a potato casserole I'm gonna do it I think I bought the M40 mess kit I've stripped down and just put my EWC jacket on I don't like the pitch of the tarp either. Like I said, I had it perfect, pitch perfect, and uh, changed my mind with the configuration. Anywho, and my glasses broke as well. So I've got some sticky tape. I'm gonna have a go at doing them. But this is what I'm trying out tonight. I've got my dinner, and I've got, like I said, the M40 mess tin. So I'm going to start blowing that pad up I'm getting it in here I've just done a quick repitch on the outside I've got it in my favorite configuration which is like a tent staked to the floor door shut on one end and a hammock through it that is a fist and the fist off the ground yeah there is scope to get the hammock higher but I don't know why I'd want to. Anyway, I have bought with me emergency bottom insulation, which is my bottom under quilt, because with pads, the first time you test them out, as I found out to my cost, you're probably best bringing secondary backup insulation with you, and that's exactly what I've done. I'm gonna blow that up now before I run out of breath and I am gagging for a brew. Right, the wind is getting up. So this is the Hammock V insulated by Climate. It takes about 20 breaths to blow up. And there's a picture of it. It looks like that once it's in my hammock. Okay, that is in the hammock. And the hammock's actually in the winter configuration. I'm going to take my boots and my waterproof trousers off unless I think there's other jobs to do outside like repitching the tarp. I was going to put it a lot higher up and anchor out the corners on guy lines but that's not going to help. I've got a 13 foot tarp that's 4 metres. It's, it's not doable unless I guy out in the middle also with the cordage and I've only got corner cordage. I'm just winging it on this one. This is what I'm cooking my dinner in, but really I'm only testing out this pad, that's all. This isn't the setup I wanted. I wanted the green hammock, the netted one, with this pad. But um, I haven't got a tarp at the moment for that particular setup. But this is the power burner I'm using, the little lunar module. Gas canister there. Originally came with the army Trangia alcohol stove, but um, Maybe in the summer I'll put all that together properly and do my Hot drink first Just want to see if this will fire up first time There's a little gadget in here and if I just move it Either closer or away this little wire it may just spark by moving it 
there you have it. Absolutely pitch black. Not far off. My mate found out I'd lost my favourite flip top flask and he gave me his, that's his regiment. So a lovely little gesture but I still am missing my old one very much. Okay, I've run through some of the problems. Under here is my tripod and my microphone and what have you. And I've broke the attachment for the camera to sit on this tripod. So that's out of action, waste of time carrying that. Can't connect up the microphone. Like I said before, um, my base layer's got wet and I didn't take care of it early enough. This is the wrong setup for this particular hammock. <sighs> wow, it, it is going cold. Uh, like I said, it's not the right setup for this insulation. This is for my underquilt, really. But uh, I bought the pad out just because I haven't got the right setup. What else went wrong? Oh yeah, my glasses. Broke my glasses, so I'm filming this completely blind. I'm cooking blind. I <laughs> can't do anything without my eyeballs. Now on the M40 Mastin, it has this C-clip that goes into this little pocket here, and it allows it to be picked up and poured at any angle. Nobody tells you, however, just how bloody hot picking that up is. I've also got the plastic bowl, and I'll be cleaning this pot out in a minute. I have a potato casserole. My webbing from the hammock has to come above the tarp, do you see? As a lot of people, you'll see them pitching with their tarp here and then lower down is the hammock. In this configuration, it doesn't work like that. It can't. It works the other way around. I have the tarp nice and low, like a tent. As you can see, it's pegged straight to the ground. This is the back of the tarp tent and I've made rudimentary doors. I'm trialing out this little pad for tonight and the insulation I'm using is this here which is goose down um, 850 fill now this is by hammock gear outfitters US usually an over quilt would work but then again I've never ever tried it in conjunction with this pad here this is meant to be done with the big green hammock but I haven't got a tarp that covers it long enough Unless, of course, I put it in the diamond configuration. Which is what I have been doing for the past four times. Four or five, maybe six times. And every time it's rained in the diamond configuration, I've woken up wet. This is my little homemade ration pack. And I put my food contents into these coffee sachets here. And all I do is I'll open up a tin of potatoes and then I will cut them up add some casserole or mince into it my dessert is going to be rice pudding with a big blob of strawberry jam I'm going to take this bag home and clean it Oh, there we are, fire it up, get it on, full power. Cartridges are cold, so it's going to take a while. This is already pre-cooked, but it just needs heating up. Meat and potatoes, you can't go wrong. The last four days have been absolutely miserable camping. Just rain, rain, rain. Um, I've camped in wind in snow in ice but just dark nights and this miserable drizzly rain it, it is a miserable time i 
I took my hat off and put it in the waistband of my pack and stopped, took my pack off and then realised my hat had fallen out somewhere in the lower fields so I'm hoping to find that in the morning so a broken camera tripod I lost my hat um, I can't put up the picture wanted Let's see what we got here five degrees we'll put a brand new pot of water there this little sachet here will be enough for the flask for the rest of the evening and out of two litres I've got about half a litre left that's a lot I've gone through um, and I was swigging on it on the way in but I'm going to boil this up and put it in a sock so this will be my hot water bottle for the night but first I need a hot chocolate that is vital the little cartridge stove and butane gas is slow for some reason it's taking is about 10 minutes just to uh, do a flask of water about the same amount of time as one of them little trangias you know about 9 10 11 minute mark I bought that stove out for the sole reason of having a speedier boil I don't know what's wrong with that little card stove it goes like a little rocket in the summer but at least now I know it's not really a winter stove but um, it will get there eventually the the gas is cold remember it's gonna be a cold night it might probably hit zero and the inside of the tarp here is condensating plus I'm cooking in here as well that's going to produce condensation but it did the last time as well which is where I think the DD tarp three by three and a half by three and a half will come in next year uh, polyester I don't have condensation issues with that and remember I'm ventilated at one end as well I've had to raise the tarp I don't know if you can see because it was sat on the deck and like I said it was condensating and the only reason I couldn't really put it up was the wind was bellowing in the sides and I haven't got middle guy out ropes but I had to bite the bullet um, raise it to ventilate it and I'll just have to let it blow in on the sides when it blows in on the sides it touches the hammock well, that's not good either now, I was chatting to someone in the comments section and I think we both do the same thing is when winter comes I leave the plastic water bottles at home and I bring out the stainless steel water bottles that way I can boil up the water in the stainless steel bottles and then put it in a sock and that becomes my hot water bottle of course summer I wouldn't need to do that trick and I can take my plastic bottles out which will be lighter and the last sock that's one pair two socks and one SS regatta bottle the canister is very cold I think we're at about three or four degrees is that 4.7 now I've stood on my glasses as well as losing my hat um, as well as having damp issues with this nylon tarp it's great in the summer and spring but like I said polyester for me for the winter I generally like to do boiling the bag meals for the winter I don't like to be getting out the steak and the potatoes on a on a frying pan I know a lot of lads especially bus crafters or everything do that and it looks great on the camera but believe me it's just a pain in the arse when you're on your own and you're bringing that amount of kit with you um, I can get away with a much better stove and boiling the bag food time to get this hot water bottle down the bottom of my sleeping bag so this is going to be the test 
of how warm this little inflatable is going to be at four degrees. I'm going to jump in now and listen to some tunes. Nighty night. Well, it capped its inflation. Just dug out the hot water bottle that I had down by my feet all night. I'm going to take the socks off the bottle and put these socks on. And uh, got a nice warm pair of socks to put on. So last night I started with the tarp all the way pegged to the ground, like a tent with a hammock running through it, which is uh, one of my preferred methods. Um, but it didn't ventilate that well because the tarp itself is nylon. So I had to raise it up and give it an air draft underneath. But the wind got that bad. Um, it, it was really, really bullying me. It had to come back down. So the wind was actually so bad at one point, it felt like somebody was shoulder barging the side of the tarp like that. So I didn't really expect that much wind last night, but there you go. It held out. So I woke up to this pad, a little damp where I've been lying on it, which I fully expected really. And I ended up putting my quilt on as well as the pad at about three degrees and i'm just waiting for this bit here to dry out i've had this gas canister inside the sleeping bag with me all night so it got down to 4.1 degrees and i was comfortable enough just in that uh climate here when the wind picked up and it started giving me a battering and it dropped to about three degrees uh, i was ready for the under quilt on i was getting cbs cold butt syndrome just in the one place my shoulders were warm my feet were lovely and warm instead of having my hammock on a 33 degree i tried to get an angle a lot more shallow and doing that sometimes can cause shoulder pinch which is nice in this because it was squeezing them wings I've actually gone through all two litres here in my water which is unusual because I had wet food so I started on a Beckett hitch and then middle of the night I thought it'd be prudent to put the drip rings in and I do have of course drip lines here. Now these drip lines sometimes on the Beckett hitch are best placed here behind the knot of the Beckett hitch but instead I did bring two of the rings so I did put them on and got a pretty dry hammock so i think on its own as a standalone unit the climate for me although rated to minus 12 degrees celsius i'm quite happy with it being a standalone unit somewhere around plus four so now i've got hot chocolate and coffee together so perhaps they call that cappuccino. I think realistically for me this is going to be my three season set up the green uh, hammock by uh, UK Hammocks, the Climate Hammock V Static and a DD tarp which is longer than my three meters, only by half a meter. It needs it though without having to go in a diamond configuration which doesn't work for me. Another thing I found issue with 
again this is the second time using the pad is a wet back I'm wet underneath the pad and on top <coughs> oh excuse me I think it would benefit from one of them silver reflectors which has to be foam backed otherwise it would slide in the in the hammock so that's what I'm gonna do so this has been the shakedown camp where I'll test everything out and see what needs adding and subtracting and what it requires next spring this will have the reflector pad in and it'll have a mat as well that I can put on the floor and roll that pad because I'm not going to put it in in the mud just to roll it there's no need um, so there will be bits and bobs that I'm going to change and the accidental cappuccino is quite welcome so until next time take good care of yourself and happy trails see you next time